Replacing the vertical thruster on your Blue Eye Pioneer? Let's take a look at the following step by step procedure. Start with removing the battery. You should always remove the battery when performing maintenance on your drone. Continue with opening the side cover. Try to keep the drone in a laying position whenever possible to reduce falls. Swing the cover open by lifting the back and the lower flap. Remove the buoyancy. Next up is to remove the tether shackle. Use the 3mm hex key to remove the screw in the tether shackle. Continue by removing the four screws in the front cover using a Torx T10 key. Remove the front cover and the front buoyancy and pull the aluminum body apart from the plastic thruster assembly. Continue by removing the two socket screws in the back of the surge thruster arms using a 2.5mm hex key. When you have removed the screws, use a flathead screwdriver to disengage the thruster arm snap lock on the right side and pull the arm slightly backwards. Repeat this for the left side as well. The thruster cables should still be attached. When you have disengaged both snap locks, pull the surge thruster arms backwards until they are entirely free from the vertical thruster tube. Next up is to remove the two screws on the vertical thruster connector using a 3mm hex key. When removed, continue with pulling the thruster connector out by gripping the connector body, not the cable. Some force and wiggles may be required to remove it. Before filming the next part of this tutorial, we removed the thruster assembly from the main part of the drone to give you a better view of the procedure. This is not necessary. Start by removing the screw in the handle with a 4mm hex key and an 8mm socket wrench. Continue by removing the two screws in the vertical tube near the snap hooks using a Torx T10 key. Move over to the upper part of the front vertical tube. Remove the screw using a Torx T10. Continue by removing the last two screws in the lower part of the front vertical tube using a Torx T15 key. Split the front and back vertical tube by approximately 10 centimeters. Remove the thruster grids by pulling them up with your fingers. Continue with removing the vertical thruster from the thruster stand sockets. Before you continue with installing the new thruster, you will need to add O-rings to the new thruster connector. Your workspace should be tidy and free of dust. Start with double checking that the correct propeller is installed on the thruster. The initials on the propeller should say CW. Grab the grease tube and apply a small amount of grease to your fingertip. Pick up the O-rings and distribute the grease. Move over to install the O-rings into the glands on the connector. Continue with installing the thruster stands into the sockets in the front vertical tube. Guide the cable into the notch as shown. Grab the back vertical thruster tube and close it with the front. Make sure that the thruster stands are seated into the sockets. Move over to reinstall the two screws in the front vertical tube using a Torx T10 key. 
Continue by reinstalling the last three screws placed in the lower part of the front vertical tube using a Torx T10 and a Torx T15 key. Follow up by reinstalling the socket screw in the handle on top of the vertical tube. Use a 4mm hex key and an 8mm socket wrench to tighten the screw. Grab the top thruster grid and install it by pushing it into place. It should snap firmly in place. Reinstall the thruster arms onto the vertical thruster tunnel. The right and left snap lock must be guided in place. Follow up with guiding the thruster cables on both sides inside of the snap arms. Continue with pushing the thruster arms forward until they are properly seated and snap hooks are fully engaged. Reinstall the two socket screws in the back of the surge thruster arms using a 2.5mm hex key. Reconnect the vertical thruster connector. Pay attention to the small feature on the connector body. This feature should be pointing down when reinstalling the connector. Make sure to align the pins and the receptacles before pushing the connector in place. Push the connector all the way into the aluminum body. Reinstall the two socket screws to secure the thruster connector. Tighten lightly by hand. Grab the front buoyancy. Place it onto the aluminum body. The four guides must be fully seated. Reinstall two of the four screws into the front cover using a Torx T10. Then flip the system around and install the remaining two screws. Grab the right-hand side buoyancy and place it, then place the right-hand side cover. The side covers are hinged in the front and should be rotated in place. There are two hinges, one at the top and one at the bottom of the front cover. Both hinges must be engaged properly. Flip the system around. Reinstall the 4mm socket screw in the tether shackle using a 3mm hex key. Guide the tether backward as shown. Place the buoyancy. Close the side cover. Reinstall the three side cover screws using a 3mm hex key. Finally, snap the bottom thruster grids in place. Thank you for watching. Head over to the Blue Eye Help Center for more tutorials, articles, and support.